Ba, 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 ba. Load up. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Load up. Load up. For the Super Bowl, and Sam Dick does missing <laughs> from <laughs> the show this week. <laughs> and Apollo too. And Apollo. Beep. And also Apollo, yeah. Beep. But we're back. Yeah, football. It's Beep. two guys in a bear to yeah. talk about the... Hold on, where's my foot pedal? The Super Bowl. <laughs> Super oh, Bowl. hell yeah. There Look we go. Look at that production value. <laughs> We spent money on that. That's yeah, right it's, a, it's a twelve dollar foot pedal. Oh yeah, that's twelve dollars. Big big bucks. Big bucks. That's incredible. Um, well, we have uh, the news that aside from the Super Bowl, we got plenty of news. Um, yeah. Mainly, yeah. Mainly coaching moves and retirement moves. So. Mm. Uh, we'll start with the big retirement move. Tom Brady has officially retired. Yep. He's gone. Yeah. It was a little, a little shaky there for a second whether he was actually going to retire. Yeah, I think uh, he wanted to be the one that broke the news. And then, you know, Adam Schefter, who nobody likes, uh, was yep. just like, Tom Brady is going to be retiring. Here you come. And then. Uh, I think Tom Brady for a second was like, I should just play again to spite this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the the best timeline is the <laughs> fuck you, Schefter, I'm going one more year timeline. But that would also kinda... not be ideal for him, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of uh... hoping he would do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, you know, not a bad career. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's it, all right. Not a bad three careers spread over one person's life. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, he was okay. We can move yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, not, you know, not a big is, deal. Is, I mean, you know, he'll. Quarterbacks go retire, on you know, like yeah. people are freaking out over this, like it's some kind of <laughs> historical event or something. Yeah, I mean, who cares? a QB. I mean, he played some games, he won some, you know, he lost a lot, too. I mean, I forget the yeah. first team he played for. They didn't even get mentioned in the post, so they yeah. must yeah, have no, I don't know who either. they were, really. They, I mean, <laughs> no, nobody really paid attention to that team. Yeah, that was, they were always I think, losers. Uh, I think he played with Melvin Gordon. Did he? Ooh, oh, yeah. really? He That's a fun career highlight for him. Okay, yeah. at least he got yeah. something out of the last 23 yeah. seasons or so. Must have been the Broncos or something. I think, I think so. yeah, that yeah. sounds right. All right, so this was the old Broncos quarterback. <laughs> yeah, the Melvin old Broncos Gordon. quarterback. Um, All right, cool. Cover that well. This, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> how's it feel? I mean, you've, you've watched Tom Brady, like, forever. Yeah, no, if it if it's uh, still not all or if it's still not common knowledge for all the listeners, it, it, it was, it was my first football memory is watching uh, Brady take Bledsoe's place after he went down. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what my football life has been. And I've definitely found uh, more and more as I've watched football that I'm more of a fan of the players than of the teams. And so it's been fun to watch, you know, literally the best player to ever do it do it for this long and it's kind of weird that he's gone now but i also kind of expected it you know like he's forty three thousand years old and yeah he he shouldn't be playing football anymore he should have retired eight years ago but (laughs) yeah he was still here so yeah it's you know it's it's expected and I, i i there was a part of me that wanted him to play till he's 50 but i i gotta accept that it's over now and it 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 was it was it was pretty dope what can I yeah. say? It was it was pretty dope, man. Like being a fan of the best team in the league every year is pretty fun. So <laughs> I didn't have a lot to complain about for a couple decades there. Yeah, no, that sounds that sounds nice. <laughs> yeah. So uh, see you, Tom. And uh, I I sincerely and emphatically uh, agree with the Patriots snub because fuck New England and fuck the Patriots. <laughs> the entire organization can blow me. The end. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, dude. I, like, I've been saying that for years. <laughs> I know. I finally see why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, 
you know, another big news story here is that now Sinvicta goes back to being a normal Buccaneers fan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, man. That was a fun little vacation for him, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Got you know, a I got Super a, Bowl out of yeah. it. Yeah. Super yeah, Bowl. Take that trade. Some good runs, but, mm-hmm. you know, now they, uh, <laughs> they're back to the, uh, like, who's Boy, our quarterback? That's a- that's actually a much more fun conversation. Who the hell do they go to now? Yeah, for <laughs> real. Tom goddamn Brady. Well, they, they have, they have Kyle, Kyle Trask Trestle. on the bench. Yeah. yeah, on the bench. Oh, yeah. no. Well, uh, good luck, Tampa. <laughs> they'll probably bring in some veteran. Dude, bring in Minshew. Hey, now you're talking. Yo. That's the style. He's perfect for them. He is. Mm-hmm. Um, he absolutely belongs back in Florida. Hell yeah. Uh, so then we had some other news, which was Byron Leftwich, uh, became the Jaguars head coach, I believe. Yep. Oh, they, they did go through with that. I actually they did indeed. That. Yep. Okay, yeah. cool. Although wait, I, I'm pretty sure they did. Well, cause I saw that, um, he didn't want bulky, bulky, that bulky. Oh, Trent Balk or whatever. Stanley's. Yeah, yeah. He didn't he didn't want him, so I don't know oh, if Oh, you're right, yeah. Huh. Yeah, but okay. I don't know if it's finalized or not. I mean I, I if you say it is, then you know I, oh, I, maybe I was pretty is, sure. I thought but, it was too, but now Well, I mean, we've never been a definitive source for information, so <laughs> this is very true. Yeah. This is pretty much on theme for us. Oh, as of mm-hmm. fifteen hours ago it says Leftwich wanted the Jaguars job without Balk involved. The deal was almost yeah. done, but fell apart because of Trent Bulk. Yeah. So yeah. So he's <laughs> man. That's uh. Yeah. Jaguars. Yeah. Damn. Um, Jaguars. Well, I mean, you know, he he was like, you know, he was uh he was gonna be a first time head coach, and he's also very young too, right? Yeah. I mean, I remember him playing still. <laughs> Not that. Long yeah, ago. it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. <laughs> um. I know Jim Harbaugh is a finalist for the Vikings job. Mm-hmm. So that might be wild. That would be pretty wild. Uh, I mean, you know, Harbaugh back in the league. And, you know, yep. he'll be in the, my division. So it'd be fun. <laughs> um, honestly, the Vikings job is probably one of the better jobs to take. Yeah, I would say so. Although you get, you got you another question with uh, QB there, right? Because, like, yeah. are they going to? resign Kirk or you at least have you know? a running game and a really mm. good wide receiver and like some pieces that you can work with it's not like going to Jacksonville or something yeah uh, which you know Jacksonville now they at least have a quarterback hopefully but <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, it's a shit show situation while I think it's probably a lot less of a shit show in Minnesota <laughs> yeah uh, quite a bit less yeah uh then we also had the Bears hiring uh, their head coach Matt Eberflus. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. It's a great yes. name. <laughs> yeah. Um, Solid name. I don't know about mm-hmm. the coaching quality, but great yeah, name. You know, yeah, he's, he's killing it in that department. Yeah, definitely. Apparently, he's also a defensive coach. So the Bears mm-hmm. just they tried uh, Matt Nagy, and they're like, Nah, let's go back to defense. So yeah. Just- <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be good for Justin Fields. Like, you know, it's kind of the Robert Sala Sala thing, right? Like, you wanted an offensive guy, and they bring in a defensive guy. Mm. So Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of like the Bears and Jets all over, right? Like, they've only ever hired defensive coaches, really. Yeah, so they're just kind of falling back on what they know. Like, well, we tried mm-hmm. it once. It didn't work out. Let's go back to what we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's yep. possible he's, he's a good coach. I don't know, but we'll see. But... Right now, it seems like people are either really for it or really against it. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Giants hiring Brian Debole, the Dable. Brian Dable, yeah, from yeah. the, from the uh, Bills. You're yeah, doing some that's... furious clicking over there, brother. <laughs> oh, sorry. Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my bad. Um, you're just you're just frantically refreshing statistical pages, right? Yeah. No. Exactly. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Just, just make it. Got to got to stay up on the latest news. <laughs> they are know? always updating. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know. At yeah, all times. That's, that's what you're expecting on this podcast. Just breaking news constantly. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Dable uh, apparently. Is, was the Bills' offensive coordinator since Josh Allen came in? So he kind of developed what the Bills are now, which I think is why he was the prospect he is. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so the bills are certainly something worth modeling after at this point. Yeah, no, I mean <laughs> seriously. By now, I mean, especially since like they're only out of the playoffs because of the shitty overtime rule. I mean, poor Josh Allen, dude. That tweet yeah, was just, <laughs> that was just a, the funniest thing. Such dude. a human moment, man. It yeah. really grounded him. I don't know if he feels better after what happened or worse. Yeah, honestly. I don't know. Like, it's, it, I feel like either way, it's just gonna continue. Yeah, to it's all pretty but, bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, then we had Ravens hire defensive coordinator Mike McDonald. So I'm uh, pretty much oh. anybody the Ravens hire. I'm just like, yeah, they're probably good. Is he old? Uh, uh, and 34. Does he have a farm? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> what about, Mike what about McDonald the farm? had a farm. <laughs> yeah. Um, he was the defensive coordinator of Michigan's great defense this past season. Mm. Uh, he was never coordinator serving as either defensive backs or linebackers coach for the Ravens from 2017 to 2020 so it seems it's just like a, you know other Harbaugh's pretty familiar with him so he's like yeah bring him on yeah uh, then we had you know some big time Raider moves hiring GM Dave Ziegler and coach Josh McDaniels yep. oh boy yeah uh, that sounds like fun. This just, another one of these tries for Josh McDaniels. Yeah, yeah. This just seems like a classic Raider move, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like they're like, oh, we can get anybody. You're like, what if we get Josh McDaniels? And you're like, hey, uh, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it could be good or it could be really bad. <laughs> I mean, but, we we're still not sure if he's not gonna back out of the job at the last second. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, at this point, right. yeah. Um, I was mentioning to Rob earlier a Packer hire, Luke Butkus, Dick Butkus's <laughs> nephew. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. All right. Uh, yeah. Nathan... And and Dick Butkus is now on Twitter. By yep. the way, good. Yeah. Yep. It's on Twitter. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Uh, the, 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 the Nathaniel Hackett Packers offensive coordinator going to Denver. So that has prompted a lot of rumors that, you know, Aaron Rodgers maybe wants to go to Denver trade, you know, friend is the head coach in Denver now, mm -hmm. uh, which honestly I would do an Aaron Rodgers to Denver trade like straight up. Yeah. I mean, I, it might happen something like that might legitimately happen. It's possible. I mean, if I had to say. Uh, like, well, first off, uh, Aaron Rodgers now is just, he's just crazy to me. So that's part of it. Yeah. But it's not even part of it. Like if he was crazy and we won a Super Bowl, I'd be like, ah, what are you going to do? But <laughs> if he, he's crazy and he's not throwing to open receivers and throwing to two guys for 80% of the game, I'm kind of yeah. like, yeah, you know what? I kind of want to try something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, and I just kind of want to move on. Cause I mean, at some point in the next year, like he's, I mean, he's even talking about retiring. So, like, are we just going to sit here every year and be like, is he going to retire? Or is he going to play? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I almost just want to be all like, over again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, I mean, you saw we actually had a really good defense. Like, we held the 49ers to nothing. And, like, mm -hmm. we played good defense throughout the year. So, if we trade Rodgers, we pick up, like, a couple firsts, other draft picks, get, like, one of their wide receivers, like Jerry Judy or something, and then you know, like re-sign a bunch of our defensive players and draft well. Like, we still have a running game. We have Jones and Dylan back there. We still have a good offensive line. Like, this team could still compete for playoff spots. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I would do. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do it, but it'll be fun to see how it unfolds. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they... That was all the head coaching stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, recently developing, mm -hmm. Brian Flores suing the NFL and Giants alleging racism in hiring includes private texts from Bill Belichick. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Oh, that's something yeah. unfolding. <laughs> it sure right. is. I uh, wonder, uh, yeah, geez, because he was, he was Belichick's guy, right? Like, he was a Patriots... Uh, coordinator was yeah it? oh he yeah was he was assistant coach there for like 10 years yeah let's see flores says that steven ross the owner of the dolphins offered to pay him a hundred thousand dollars for every loss during the 2019 season to help oh, the team get a better draft fuck. spot 
<laughs> oh my god, that's fucking huge, too. Oopsie. Is, yeah, oh man. He was mad when they kept winning. <laughs> and then that's Flora's suit hilarious. includes Ooh, that's... uh Flora's suit includes text from Bill Belichick that appear to show him congratulating him on getting the Giants job, mistakenly believing he was texting Brian Dable. This was before Flora's interview with the Giants took place. Mm. Wait, I, so I just, that's... I'm, I'm, maybe I'm missing the context. I don't understand. I feel like that. I don't understand it either. Giants would have likely gotten away with this most insidious form of discrimination if New England Patriots coach Bill Belichick had not mistakenly disclosed it to Mr. Flores below in text messages, says Matt Gertz on Twitter. So then, here's Bill. <laughs> that that is he... hilarious that it would ultimately boil down to Bill Belichick not understanding how to use new tech. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, here's the text funny. messages. So he says, sounds like you have landed. Congrats. And then he says, did you hear something I didn't? And he says, Giants? And he says, I interview on Thursday. I think I have a shot at it. And he says, got it. I hear from Buffalo and New York that you are their guy. I hope it works out if you want it to. And he said, that's definitely what I want. Hope you're right, coach. Thank you. Coach, are you talking to Brian Flores or Brian? Oh, no. Just making sure. Mm. Oh, and he man. said, sorry, I fucked this up. I double-checked and misread the text. I think they are naming Dable. Sorry about that. Bill Belichick. Then he says, thanks, Bill. <laughs> oh, no. He got his he got his Brian's mixed up. Oh, my All God. Right, so this... I, <laughs> Bill's involvement in this immediately made me uh, unhappy, but this just sounds like Bill's involvement in this is, un, uh, like, you know, making a fuck up via text. Yeah. Like, yeah, he, he, yeah, he yeah, sent the yeah. text to the wrong guy. That's his yeah. entire yeah. extent in this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. That is... <laughs> That's a classic old man Belichick. Oh, movie. dude, yeah, no, that's so yeah. fucking funny that that's the way this all broke <laughs> out. Oh shit! Oh jeez. Um, <laughs> man, so that happened. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I guess this is all still unfolding. So I mean, we'll see what happens with this. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait, what is it? Hold on, there's another thing. It says. After the end of the 2019 season, Mr. Ross began to pressure Mr. Flores to recruit a prominent quarterback in violation of league tampering rules. Mr. Flores repeatedly refused to comply with these improper directives. Undeterred, mm. in the winter of 2020, Mr. Ross invited Mr. Flores onto a yacht for lunch. Shortly after he wow. arrived, Mr. Ross told Mr. Flores that the prominent quarterback was conveniently arriving at the marina. Obviously, Mr. Ross had attempted to set up a purportedly impromptu meeting between Mr. Flores and the prominent quarterback. Mr. Flores refused the meeting and left the yacht immediately. After the incident, he was treated with disdain and held out as someone who was non-compliant and difficult to work with. Mm. Uh, and apparently that people are rumoring that quarterback was Tom Brady. What? So he pretty they, much they, was they... trying to be like, Hey, come eat on a yacht with me and Tom Brady or something, and like set him up for the meeting. Mm. It was just I, yeah. <laughs> I'm still confused about all, all a couple of the facets yeah. of this, but I'm hoping that more becomes clear. Or also, I don't really I mean, care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing yeah. like the idea is like the that Ross basically set him up to be the fall guy and lose games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. fucked up. Like that part, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Like, and also, you know, like, color me surprised that there is like right. a history of racism in the ownership yeah. of the animal. What really? That's yeah. fucking crazy. The people yeah. that think they own humans that are predominantly like African American is oh wow. There's the correlation there. That's fucking nuts. Mm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, it's like, like you know, like with the NBA owners' texts a couple years ago, like, if they fucking had the NFL owners' texts, I mean, oh, it would yeah. be the same the same shit yeah. with, with, with them. Yeah. Them yeah. old white dudes be racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? <Wow. The, laughs> I mean, that is pretty fun, like, because that might, especially now, like, that might just, like, blackball him from the league. Like, he yeah. might, they, they might, he might just yeah. not be able to get it, which is, which is going to be very silly considering... Uh, they were winning in Miami, like repeatedly with him. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. Yeah, he's a good coach. It's just, yeah, now he's doing this whole like lawsuit. So like, who knows what's gonna happen? But mm -hmm. uh, it's it's probably gonna get crazier. So we'll see how that unfolds. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, uh, oh, I think uh, I don't know if we mentioned this last week, but the Washington Commanders. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, did they? Have, <laughs> yeah, did they sucks. finalize it? They're, they're, it's, they're going it's pretty with it? much like. It's coming out everywhere. Like oh, that they chose Commanders. Yeah, that's a big boo. Yeah, that's a big dumb boo. Fuck yeah, you, not, terrible man. team name. Not rooting, rooting for that team anymore at all. Like never again. They're the Hogs. They're never not going to be the Hogs, and that's just that's just reality now. And anybody yeah. that chooses not to believe in that reality is just living a worse life for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're just it's, they're just fooling themselves. It's just dumb. Uh, I mean, oh, apparently they're going to announce it tomorrow on Groundhog Day, which is still dumb as shit. They Come the, on, it's on the Groundhog the Day. day. It's, they're so bad at things. Why? Yeah. No, uh. they're, it's just horrible. <laughs> God. Unless they, yeah, they pull thing. a fast one and, and still go with the oh, hogs I would be in the so end. happy, but also probably still not be able to support that team on moral grounds. But go hog. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, that's, that's, that's definitely fair. God, this is just... Yeah, the, apparently the people are like digging into it. Like Joe Theis- Theismann was like the Commanders, and then someone else said the Commanders. Listen, if it's just if it's anything but the Hogs, like I this franchise sucks ass. Yep. Yeah. No. I mean, it's uh, yeah. They already already not not particularly likable. <laughs> they like, got a uh, big pit <laughs> to climb out of. Yeah. I'd legit rather them just stay as the football team. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. Better. Football team is preferable to commanders. That's Even like I horrible. would prefer that. <laughs> yeah. So cool. At least I don't have to yeah. care for them anymore. <laughs> These have been fun stories, Crandor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, very fun. There's always fun stories in the NFL. <laughs> it's it's the National a, Fun League. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, at least we had fun games this weekend. We sure did. Yeah, really fun games. Yeah, damn, yeah. we did. It's probably the best championship games we've had in a long time, honestly. Dude, yeah. the last six games have been outstanding. Every yeah. single one has been like extremely entertaining. It's been great. Been really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I except guess when the, your team uh, the refs can't score any touchdowns and yeah. kick, kick <laughs> Well, you know, yeah, ball. some teams know how to score better, <laughs> but we we can leave that in the yeah, past. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's crazy. Bengals, Chiefs, and uh, Joe Burrow. Uh, the craziest thing about this game was it was twenty-one to three. Dude, I was certain it was yep. over. Yeah. And like, I, I, I'm not ever the kind of person to count. I mean, like, you know, I've been a fan of Tom Brady for all my life. I'm not ever the kind of team, the guy, the kind of guy to count out a team when they're down a few scores. It's like it's anything's possible. Mm-hmm. I did not know that it was possible with this team, man. Like, mm-hmm. man, this was shocking. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, no, for real. I even think there was a stat. Uh, I found it on the Reddit, but I don't see it here. That was like in the second half, the Chiefs' offense was like it got like eight. Oh, here it is: eighty-three yards, three points, and two interceptions. Yeah. No, the big story here is not Joe Burrow did things. This is the Bengals' defense held the Chiefs to three points in the second half of the championship game. Like, yeah. wow, that is insane. That, yeah. that shouldn't happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the Bengals just kind of, you know, stayed doing their thing. The offense ca- kind of got going. And then, you know, they just started putting up points. And they're like, ooh. Yeah. And then the Chiefs just didn't respond. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Ma- Mahomes is like, like rating in the first half was like a hundred. And it was, it was close to like a perfect passer rating. Mm-hmm. And then in the second half, it was zero. Like it was, yeah. it was literally as bad. <laughs> they, so like the, whatever they did in halftime, uh, worked. Mm-hmm. It's uh, you know, are the Chiefs ready to become the new Packers? You know, <laughs> and the, <laughs> yeah, the Packers are still busy being the new Packers. That's yeah, true. That's yeah. probably true. Um, the big thing for me here was it felt like it was gonna be more of the same, where they won the coin toss, and everyone's like, "Dude, we won the coin yeah. toss!" But then it turned that's out how the they Chiefs were reacting. <laughs> yeah, they didn't know how to like move the ball, and then Mahomes almost threw a like pick six. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. like. Uh, so I guess if anything, that's actually bad for changing the new rules because then the NFL is gonna be like, "See, the Chiefs won the coin toss and they didn't right. win the game." <laughs> um, but now only eighty percent of the teams that win the coin toss. <laughs> yeah, the right, yeah, congratulations on moving yeah. the needle there. <laughs> uh, but man, what a win for the Bengals! This is like, yeah, who would have like 
two years ago, this was one of the worst team. This was the worst team in the NFL. Yeah, yeah. No, like they, they got the they one pick. first overall pick. Yeah, that's that's. Pretty sure they were at like fifty thousand to one odds to win the Super Bowl this year at the beginning of the <laughs> yeah. season. Mm-hmm. Like it was, n- it was not meant to be. This I, I don't think any of us could ha- have realistically predicted them to get to this point at the beginning of the playoffs. I feel like that was like yeah. just an absolute miracle, shot in the dark guess. But oh, yeah. no, they, they. I mean, do they even still feel like the best team in the AFC right now? I kind of feel like this is just a bit of a Cinderella run. A little bit, yeah. I mean, well, yeah. they're they're that team that's going through the wild card, right? Like with the uh, with with the hotness. Yeah. yeah, hot, you know. They're, they're, yeah, and that no, that happens a lot. Like mm-hmm. that's that's kind of how the uh, Marshawn Lynch beast mode Seahawks got to the point they did. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's... then uh, the Saints kind of had a run like that. I think uh, over the like that was like ten years ago, maybe now. Yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, like man, it's just it's crazy how teams will just just get red hot and just nobody can stop them. Even the friggin' Chiefs at home. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, uh, no, I mean... every time. I was even mentioning that I think uh, the other week. It was like the Packers won Super Bowl. They won. It wasn't when they went fifteen and one. It wasn't that they had the one seed. They were literally a wild card team that got in and they were hot at the right time and they won. Like, yep. and then the year after they went fifteen and one and they lost to the Giants, who were the hot right. wild card team. <laughs> yeah, so it's, <laughs> the fucking yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so and then this year, I mean, look at the 49ers. They got over the all the way to the, a, or the How, NFC man. Championship. We're going to yeah. talk about that more because they did not belong in that game. Oh, yeah. No. That fucking much. <laughs> but yeah. They were like another hot wild card team. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. it It just feels like at the end of the season, if you get healthy and you're like clicking, that's all you need. Yeah. It yep. doesn't matter if you're the one seed or the light. Like, that's that's all that matters. Just yep. being yep. hot. Um, the Bengals are red hot right they now. They are hot. They are oh, yeah. freaking fire. Uh, yeah. So, because I'm, I think my pick was going to be the Bills. The Bills seemed like the team to beat, and honestly, the Bills, if they could have gotten another shot, probably would have been the team to beat. Still, I would have loved yeah. to see a Bills Bengals game this year, man. Yeah, that would have been, been fantastic. When the playoffs, particularly. Sure. Yeah, but uh, you know, well, at least we get this. It, it almost felt like the Chiefs had the similar things, where like your weaknesses show. It was like. The first half was the Chiefs that were like, "Hey, we're the Chiefs," and then the second half was like this se- this season's Chiefs, where like they yeah. didn't show up. <laughs> so, Definitely, um, you know, it's so, uh, it Jamar is- Chase is continuing to light it up this year. I mean, yeah. this dude mm-hmm. is an actual goddamn rookie. The, he's playing in the Super Bowl. This is this doesn't yeah. happen a lot. I have to imagine. What's the, how many first year uh, wide receiver ones? Dude, beyond that, even the first overall pick usually does not. Oh no, it doesn't, doesn't experience do well. anywhere near this level of success. And in, in his second year, like yeah, yeah. no, this wow, is yeah. And the, his offensive line is still garbage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, still dude, they have bad. like fifty million dollars in cap space next year. <laughs> this team is going to be a, a ridiculously good team next year. Yeah, yeah. they're going to be a powerhouse. And then they're going to suck because they're going to have to pay all their good players yep. actual yeah. money. I mean, <laughs> inevitable, yeah. yeah. Unless Joe Burrow's like really good, like Pat Mahomes, and then yeah. you know the, they'll they'll be able to stretch out everything for a while. And we see the next uh, half billion dollar contract for Burrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but. Yeah, I'm honestly, I'm just excited the Bengals are in the Super Bowl too because it's like it's something. Oh man, different. this is absolutely yeah no. yeah. no, I'm thrilled about that. That's exciting. Yeah, because it's like what well, the Chiefs again? Like okay, Let's yeah, just... that would have that would have sucked. <laughs> yeah, I don't even like hate the Chiefs, but it's just like, can we just have a different game? <laughs> nah, yeah, I, I was telling you guys like I'm beginning to see why people hate the Patriots so much. It's not necessarily <laughs> yeah. just like they're they, they don't hate the Patriots. They're sick of seeing the Patriots, and I get it now. Like, it's like yeah, I'm pretty damn sick of seeing the Chiefs play the AFC Championship game at home every year. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that, that must be a strange <laughs> feeling, Bear. I wonder what that's like. <laughs> yeah. So you know, grats Bengals, and I'm still cheering for the Bengals. I hope they win it all. That'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be, um, that'd be great. So on the other side, we had Rams 49ers. The the San Francisco Debo set de- uh, there. You know what? You get it. I don't I don't have to finish <laughs> I get it, saying I get it. You understand. Yeah. Oh, by the way, before we bring it up, I want to mention the Bengals have Chidobi Owuzie as their top corner. And when he played the Packers this year in like week four or five, whenever that shit show game happened with eight field goals. 
Mm. Uh, he was really good. Like, I remember watching him just cover, and I was like, dude, this guy is insane. So the fact that, like, they have him already makes me think highly of their defense and, like, putting him on Cooper Cup. I think yeah. it'd be really good. Yeah. Uh, so, speaking yeah. We had, Cooper Cup. Speaking of Cooper Cup, he's Hot very damn. good still. 142 Ooh. yards and two touchdowns. He hasn't stopped being really, really good so far this playoffs. Yep. No, yeah. he just keeps being really good. And I think he set a playoff record this game, too, if I'm not mistaken. I'd have to go back and look at which one it was. But, it, dude, just when when you know he's going to be the guy, but he can still be that dude to that extent, like, that is that is some next level stuff, especially against the 49ers defense that has been pretty mm-hmm. much why they got to the point that they mm-hmm. got to. And even they couldn't do it. Yeah. And Odell Beckham Jr., 113 yards as well. Look at that. Yeah, on top of that, dude, he, <laughs> get, he went for nine catches too. Like Stafford's mm-hmm. just really good, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's very good. Yeah, we've kind of, mean, we've known that for a while now, but now he gets, it's literally his first year on a good team, and he's in the Super Bowl. Yeah, like, he's uh, really good. That's why I'm kind of liking this Super Bowl too. It's like either Burrow's gonna win a Super Bowl, which is great, or and mm-hmm. the Bengals franchise just in general for <laughs> right. whatever, and then or Matt Stafford's gonna win a Super Bowl, which is like neat. So it's yeah. like somebody will at least be happy. It's the other person will be sad, but they're probably used to sadness anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that, that's true. But yeah, no, I mean the the Matt's it's it's weird too cuz you know there's a lot of like Matt Stafford hate for some reason. Like people mm-hmm. really really dislike Matt. They want to they want to say that he like stinks and stuff and I just you know, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. You know, like I've been seeing I've been seeing a lot of excuses too of, of people being like, "Well, he's on a stacked team." And it's like, "Well, yeah, it's the Super Bowl. Like, what, what do you, yeah. what do you mean? Yeah, like, well, of course, the teams that go to the it's Super Bowl game. are pretty stacked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, that's how it works. Yeah, you like know? the whole like, point is it's a team game. Like, obviously, mm-hmm. you might have an advantage if you have a really good quarterback, but like, you still have to rely on your team. You still have to rely on your team to not have punts blocked and giving up fifty yards on return. But. <laughs> uh, but you know the 49ers it felt like they were on a good run it was the the Debo Samuel show and Mm -hmm. you know their defense has been really really good but it uh for that fourth quarter they were up 17-7 and then it was just the Rams just went to work yeah and Jimmy G and the old noodle arm kind of showed themselves Mm. yeah man that was like I mentioned it in the Discord while we were watching live, but in that moment where it was like, all right, it's all on Jimmy G. He's got the golden opportunity, <laughs> and it's gone. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just, you just can't expect him to perform in these moments because he never does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and is he a free agent? Yeah. 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 So he's most likely going to be on a new team. Yeah, they they'll definitely move on to Trey Lance, I think, after this one. I'll just let Debo yeah. play quarterback, dude. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Too. <laughs> yeah, might as well, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had seventy two yards and a touchdown receiving. He ran for twenty six yards. At least um, if he was quarterback, he wouldn't try to throw himself into the goddamn hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is very true. Uh, and he had a kick return or two kick returns, so he he literally is like doing everything on this team. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to like look at all the teams where he could go. I mean, I could see him going. I mean, quarterback teams are probably like Denver. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I could see him going there. Yeah. Maybe he'd go to like some team like the Colts that are just like, ah, eh, bring him in. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he could go to Tampa Bay. <laughs> like, who knows? Oh, yeah. That's fine, I, actually, yeah. yeah I'd be wouldn't be surprised if that happened. I mean, especially if, you know. He just follows Tom everywhere. Yeah. I know. Also, <laughs> yeah, that would be so funny. <laughs> that would be funny. Well, if he went to like Minnesota, like Harbaugh's, like, eh, bringing yeah, a veteran guy. Like, there's a lot of places he could go. I could see that. I mean, I, Harbaugh seems like the kind of coach that doesn't like taking like a rookie QB. Yeah. He definitely but does seem know. like he'd want somebody where he's like, I want someone who knows what I'm doing. Like, I don't got to deal with some kid. Right. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of quarterback places open honestly so mm-hmm. we will see uh but yeah overall this game is a fun game and it went down to the wire and the uh, great playoffs so far so hopefully the super bowl is just as entertaining yeah 
But before yeah, that, no, we cool. had the, 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 the Pro Bowl. <laughs> Everybody like the Pro Bowl? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't yeah. wait for the Pro Bowl. <laughs> oh, yeah. fun. That's going to be exciting. Where they, they should... don't really play the game at all, but kind of pretend yeah. to a little bit. Right, yeah. They should really just do what the NBA does and do like a pre Pro Bowl, like fun day where it's like the dunk contest and the three point contest. Like... Just, that should be the whole thing. Like, I don't want to, yeah. I, I, like, I don't want to see the mock football game. Like, nobody cares about the mock football game. Yeah. It sucks. Like, it, it, yeah. it's just, it's just boring and not interesting. The whereas... players don't even want to be in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like the the, you know, back when they used to do it in uh, when they were doing it in Hawaii, they had the the skills challenge stuff and the dodgeball, mm-hmm. and that was fun. Like watching the the dodgeball shit. Like I like still sometimes I I look at the the old YouTube videos of them doing dodgeball because yeah, it's exciting, you know, or just like you make them do you know fun shit for for you know weird athletic activities that they don't normally do that would be that would be a fun time yeah it's like there's so many cool things they could do with it and they're just doing nothing (laughs) yeah like the whole point like they're like these are the top pro bowl like athletes it's like okay well they're gonna do some crazy stuff right like that would make sense like oh let's have a quarter like instead of a three-point contest in basketball have like a quarterback like downfield passing competition like who can hit the most little targets and stuff like that like that'd be pretty cool yeah i'd be down for that yeah, like there's there's so many things you could do, but instead, kicker horse. Sh- yeah, kicker horse. That'd be fun. Do you like who can make the longest field goal? Mm-hmm. Like, dude, oh, in or good from conditions. this position, you know, like on the I'm, I'm shooting from the side yeah. of the the goalposts, you know, <laughs> like shooting yeah, from go, the benches, like, like yeah. kicking one off the bench or something. <laughs> Genuinely, this would be way more fun. Oh yeah, yeah. oh 100%. yeah, like a hundred times more than the stupid fake football game that they play. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's gonna happen. And it'll be boring. Then, yeah. <laughs> then we have the Super Bowl. Super so, Bowl. Uh, I guess Super before we, Bowl. I guess before we get into the Super Bowl, we should do uh, NFL.com power rankings. <laughs> I guess. Oh right, yeah, power rankings. Hold on, let's yeah. see if the you actually I don't even think they've updated. I wouldn't expect them to. I think they're kind of done at this. point. Yeah, it yeah. looks like they have not been updated. Wow. All right, the <laughs> top five on the NFL.com <laughs> power rankings. We'll start with you, Rob. Uh, I'm that is say... correct. We'll go Thank down you. To go to Rendor. That's uh, right. Yeah. You guys got it. It's the Bengals and the Rams. Ooh. Number one and number two on the NFL.com power rankings. Back to you in the booth. Da, na, 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 na. Yeah, that was uh, pretty accurate, honestly. And, wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, why are the Bengals over the Rams? It's just unexplainable. Yeah, I guess you're right. So no then we have, you can argue. And we have Pickums. 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 Uh, so, bonus stats. Championship champ. Bear has the best record. Championship. <laughs> he did say championship. Championship champ. Uh, Bears the best record all time picking conference championship games, locks included six and three. Wow. Look at him go! Look at that! Yeah. Apollo two and two, Sinvicta five and seven, Rob four and eight, Discord two and five, and Crendor two and nine. <laughs> now half those losses are probably just Packer games. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I did also double lock last week. In addition, to that's true. Other you did. Well, that's on you, damn it! I, yeah. you, you had every right to or every ability to restrict <laughs> yourself from double locking, damn it. Hey, Discord double locked too. So I mean, yeah. they, they they all fell in line. I will say, I said I want a Bengals Rams Super Bowl, and my teams always lose. So I picked the Chiefs 49ers, and it worked. It worked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have the new jinx yourself for the good of a spectator Super Bowl, Crandor. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, I have the new Jinx uh, lock curse. Apparently, I don't have a lock curse. I just have a pick them curse. Yeah, I just pick yeah. the teams. They lose. Uh, Apollo remains perfect picking playoff games between divisional opponents. Four and zero. Oh. Oh, Rob is, is six and two. Discord five and two. Bear four and three. Crendor three and six. Invicta three and seven. Uh, the Rams have never lost a playoff game when picked by at least one person on the podcast. They're six and zero in receiving at least one pick and one and two in receiving zero. That's wild. that is really funny that yeah. that we are somehow the Rams 
like power source. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the Bengals were the 28th most accurately predicted team during the season, 51%. That's, and, that's very bad. That's that is very bad. That's, that's, that's about that's Randy. Yeah. Levels. <laughs> Sinvicta was the most accurate at 65%. Rob was the least at 33%. Hey, look. I'm not, I don't have anything to say after that. I just, yeah. I just wanted to say, hey, look. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and the Rams were the 14th most accurately predicted team, 63%. Apollo was about 80%. And I was at 47 as the least. Better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Listen, I, I remember I trusted the Rams. Every time I'd pick them, they'd lose. <laughs> hate the Rams. Well, if is... any of us picks the Rams for the Super Bowl, then they win, right? Yeah, like, that's so true. That's... Yeah. So that means we all have to pick the Bengals. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, that is important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But wait a second. That also means that uh, I'm extremely inaccurate at predicting the Rams. So if I pick the Bengals, then the Rams might win. Oh, oh my shit. god. Ah, geez. There's so We're many not... layers of magic involved here. <laughs> we'll I think I'm just gonna have to close my eyes and throw a knife at the monitor and see what it hits. That's a good yeah, idea. That's a good yeah. idea. That's the smartest way to handle this. Yeah, you might hit the monitor, maybe you hit someone in the next room. You never know. Mm-hmm. They'll right? be able to tell me what team after I pull the knife out of them. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Which who which team do I pick? I'm sorry. Why did you, why did you throw the knife at me? <laughs> um Yep. So, <laughs> with all of the double locks happening and various things, I went 0-3. So, that makes me uh, winless in the last two rounds of playoff predictions. Uh, Sinvicta went 2-2. Two and two. Rob went... Or, no. Sinvicta went 11-5 and five with the locks. Oh, wait, no. Wait. That's 11-5 and five in playoffs. Never mind. I'm terrible mm. at reading. Yeah, <laughs> Sinvicta was 2-2 two two this week. Rob 2-2. Two and two. Bear 3-0. and oh. Apollo 2-2. Two and two. Randy 2-0. Two and oh. And oh, Discord two two oh yeah. I think next Randy, year for Randy, Randy we're gonna we're gonna like do a RNG one through however many games there are, and then that'll be his lock or something. There we go. I like oh, that. Yeah. that'd be pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. One to thirty two. That'd be easy. You just go to random.org. Yeah, but can can, can I just point out though mm-hmm. that Randy's playoff record is nine and fucking three. I like, know. Yeah. yeah, he's doing the best out of everybody, <laughs> including win the Discord. Percentage. He's so good. <laughs> He's he's outperforming <laughs> the 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 hive mind of all of our combined football knowledge as a as an <laughs> audience. He's doing better than that. Yeah, <laughs> that is That's great. amazing. I love it. Um, so now it's time to pick them. Pick them. Oh boy, here we go. The Rams, Bengals, Super Bowl. Technically a home game for the Rams. I want to wait to hear what Randy has to say. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a good, good point. Yeah, what if? Yeah, what if we all pick the Bengals and Randy's just Randy like, picks oh, the Rams and he screws us over. He does yeah. like the friend or foe move at the end. You remember that mm-hmm. game show, friend or foe? That was the shit. Anyway, go I ahead. Vaguely remember, <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna. I'll do the Randy pick now. Here we go. Randy is going to take Don't the Cincinnati it. Bengals. All right, wow. Bengals magic lives. Go, Randy. Ooh. Oh, baby. I'm taking the Bengals. I'm locking the Bengals. Wow. Back to back weeks, I'm locking the Cincinnati Bengals. I actually think the Bengals are going to win this, too. I'm locking the Bengals. Let's go. Wow. Yeah. Um, Let's go. I guess, see, here's the thing. I I think I want the Bengals to win. Mm-hmm. But I do, I do kind of want the Rams. I like, I kind of. They're both great. Want, I would yeah, love yeah. it if both of these teams won. They should both get a championship. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, I would really like Matt Stafford to get a ring. Like, yeah, most that would be Matt really Stafford. cool. I don't really care about LA. Yeah, but also <laughs> like Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. Yeah. Oh man! And here's the other problem. I pick the Rams. They're gonna win. Yeah, oh, you're right. You got all that power resting on your shoulders right you. now. But you better make the right decision here. So I could get Matt Stafford a ring right here with this. Yeah, pick. that's a pretty cool feeling. I that's bet. pretty cool. That's true. It's basically like you're winning a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, just think uh... about it. It's like Stafford played for the Jets for years and never won anything, <laughs> and now yeah. he got a chance to win. Went to the Super Bowl. And <laughs> oh, that man. does sound like a Jets thing to happen. I mean, it yeah. is a distinctly Lions thing to have yeah. Detroit occurred. fans like you know nothing of pain. <laughs> <laughs> Stafford truly knows your, but so do the Bengals. They hadn't won a playoff game since like 1990. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And they're I mean, getting like just the entirety of that is uh, the catharsis is <laughs> immense this yeah. year, man. <laughs> you know, what? maybe it's too much for. Him. Maybe Stafford, he's already had all his losses and everything. Maybe he needs that win before he just dies from being in this league. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, did you oh, see how stressed out Stafford looked on oh, the final yeah. drive? Like, he was oh, yeah. freaking the fuck out. <laughs> I mean, I would be at that I, point. Oh, no, no. Right? Yeah, no, I absolutely would be, too. It's, it, it's like, like the closest he's ever gotten yeah, by man. far. And he like, can't do anything about it. He's already done his yeah. best. Which yeah. He's just waiting like, ah, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, the um, I, I actually saw a stat, too, that was uh, Matt Stafford has as many conference championship wins as Aaron Rodgers does now. Yeah. <laughs> so, yep, yep, yep. You know, that's a good one. Um, all right. I'm going to do I'll take the Bengals. Let's go. I, 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 I want I want the Bengals. I really do want Matt Stafford to get a ring. But it's the Cincinnati sweep, ladies and gentlemen. The I think Cincinnati they got it. Sweep. They got the power. I think they do, too. I think they're just I feel like they're the chosen team this year. Oh, yeah. I believe it fully, dude. Yeah, they're they like they're they're spicy right now. They it's are just, just no oh, team. Yeah. And Jamar Chase is just so good. He's just yeah. so good that, like, <laughs> I mean, but then so is Cooper Cup. I was so going to say, this yeah. is kind of a Jamar Chase versus Cooper Cup kind of deal here, too. It is which, a little I don't bit, know yeah. who I pick if that's the case. Probably Cooper yeah. Cup if I'm, if I'm being real. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Based yeah. on I mean, the year he's had. Yeah. And also that he has, like, what, like, five or six years of experience, too, on top yeah, of that. That's but, true. And they have an offensive line, which is yeah, probably yeah. pretty helpful. God, imagine going to the Super Bowl in your rookie year. That, I mean, geez. Yeah. Geez. I that mean, is... honestly, that might help a little bit, don't you think? Because, yeah, like, yeah. I think you're already kind of having the heebie jeebies about being in the league your first year and having all uh -huh. these big time experiences for the very first time. You might as well just get the big show out of the gate, you know? Right. Like, it yeah. just sort of feels like it might even not even matter that much more based on. Yeah. The yeah. other experiences. The Although thing is, might, like, he, um, yeah, people on. always say, like, oh, like, oh, they got the Super Bowl. Who knows? Oh, this is a duo, Burrow and Chase. Like, they're gonna go to so many more. But then, like, injuries happen. Other mm -hmm. teams get better. Like things like occur. Like you never know if you're gonna go back or not. Yeah. yeah. So you gotta you gotta do it when you're there. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean. Yeah. It. It. It, it could be that this is their last chance to win a Super Bowl for, yeah. for Joe Burrow and, and Jamar Chase. Like, seriously, like, Tom Brady has seriously inflated people's sense of, like, how, how many times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, you know, uh, Ru Russell Wilson has two, right? But, yeah. Or, yeah. Did, yeah. And, he, um, wait, did he win two? I think he only won one, and then he's he won the one, one and went back. Yeah. yeah. One. Yeah, oh, but, you're right. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I'd. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but right. Yeah, yeah they mean, lost to the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun year because that's the year where we would have went to the Super Bowl, but then we didn't know how to recover onside kicks, and then it was right. pretty fun. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yep. Yep. But see, that's the thing is that you never know. Like, it yeah. could literally be. Your first chance could be your last chance for a twenty-year career. You could do you could do twenty more years of being like one of the greatest QBs or wide receivers forever. Like Randy Moss never got a ring. Yeah, yeah. right. He so, didn't like know. look at Pat Mahomes. Like he was going to go the one year, and then they lined up offsides. Yeah, like, yeah. Like that did it. It wasn't even as like anything with hate. Then he get, didn't touch the ball again. So it's like, well, you know, that's how it is. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You never know. Uh, but. That's uh, that's gonna be the Super Bowl, so it should be exciting. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, are we? Uh, sorry, before we before we do outro things, yeah. Are we gonna do? Uh, are we gonna do anything for the Pro Bowl? For the Pro Bowl, probably not. No. Man. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so either. No. Right? Like, no yeah. So I'm not gonna be Pro watching Bowl. it. Really? Yeah. No. We'll just <laughs> the... if anything of note happens during the Pro Bowl, we'll talk about the week after. Yeah, and then um, the other thing that I was gonna say was uh do you guys want to do like a a live watch stream of the super bowl we did that last year right like yeah uh, oh yeah we... yeah, yeah. Do you guys in fact do that? That uh, really fun. That. yeah i think we did it two years ago and then last year i was doing it for the second half and then bear showed up and then mm. i don't think you were there you said you were gonna show up and then you didn't show up Wow, Rob. But uh but yeah, no, I, I mean I'm down to do that if you guys Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'd be down to do yeah. that. That'd be fun. Right. 
be a fun time. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been a, a honking season, and it all comes down to this. The big game. The big old Super Owl. And also the Puppy Bowl is happening. Oh, yeah, the Puppy oh, Bowl. Man. Puppy Bowl prediction. I'm betting there's going to be some puppies. Oh, I think you're right. I think oh, yeah, you're right. The, I'm going with Bear. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Bear's bet. Yep. Puppy oh, yeah, time. the copyright, the copyright issues. It's the, the big game. The big show. The big break is, yes. The big <laughs> <laughs> ah, the match. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate match. <laughs> Um, Canine inspired match <laughs> competition. Right, uh, we have no like Sinvicta doing the da 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 da